my name is Priscilla Diaz and I'll be presenting my student choreography piece of the song Time Warp from the musical The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Lyrics by Richard O'Brien and music by Richard O'Brien and Richard Hartley. This piece is asterisk for sexual situations and mention of substance abuse. If you feel you may be offended, please take the time to exit this video. Thank you. And I proudly represent, for my last time, Troop 6358. <laughs> It's astounding, time is fleeting, madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. With your hands on your hips. the time slip and nothing can ever be the same you spaced out of sensation like you're under sedation I started with my thematic statement. So the song takes place when the characters Brad and Janet find themselves in Dr. Frankenfurter's castle on the day of the annual Transylvanian convention where the castle guests are dancing to the time warp. So the thematic statement of the dance is about embracing the power of sexuality and sensuality showcased in this dance through submissive movements. In addition, the song is about time meaning nothing at all as the characters recount times they've fallen into a time warp in which their perception of time has uh, slowed down, changed, or distorted. So the dance expresses this uh, through variations of tempo changes in the choreography. The synchronization of characters in certain uh, parts of the dance reflect the cult-like motifs that are present throughout the musical. Also drew dance inspiration, like some dance movements um, from classical monster movies, such as Frankenstein. The musical takes place in the late 60s, so I've included various references to 60s style dance move, such as the mashed potato, the hand jive, the jerk, the twist, the hitchhiker, 60s, swing, and the swim, with a modern twist to most of the movements in order to emphasize the whole time distortion. So here I have some inspiration pictures. And then I have some character summaries. I have their riffraff magenta in Columbia, and then I have a brief uh, 
description of who they are and what their relationships are with each other. Now onto the chart notation. Here I made sure to include um, the uh, symbols of how I recognize the characters, for example, Riff Raff R, Magenta M, Columbia C, and the Transylvanians T. I made sure to include which specific movements they're doing on the music. For example, here I have them rising on the beat of the music. And then here I have uh, a major to list when they're going into their formations. For example, here I have pushed into formation two. I also made sure to include the traveling of when they're going into their next formation. I'll give you a second to look at these. Here I also made sure that on every beat in, in, my, in my choreography, I have let's do the time warp. There's always something there. For example, here there are poses and here there is the reference to the 60 style, which is the twist and the jerk. Here I have some more. And then here I have Magenta's uh, solo and full. I have listed down the uh, technical terms. For example, she goes, uh, she does the mashed potato, then uh, she prepares to do her fortes, and then so on and so forth. And then here I have some more notations. Some more notations for you guys to look at. And then here I also have the breakdown of Columbia's sol tap solo. For example, she goes, uh, she does two buffaloes, she does a flat ball change, and then she does a single time step, and so on. She does um, uh, tap turns and the hitchhiker and a flare, and also made sure to include the hand jive and the kicks that are going on in the background. And then here I have some more chart notations. Give you a second to look at those two. And here I have the ending of the dance. So now moving on to the formation changes, I made sure to keep the same uh, the same uh, symbols as I do here, just so that I don't get confused. Except I changed the Transylvanians to X in order for them for me to change them around. Also made sure to include uh, which number formation it is and the specific lyric on which they're moving on. So I'd like to point out in the opening formation, I wanted it to be a circle to represent time and like a clock but it's kind of distorted. See that it's not very, uh, it's not a specific kind of circle. It doesn't really look like one. So it's very distorted. And then here I just have the following formation changes. And then here at the end, I have the final formation. And as you can see, it's kind of like a closed circle. And this is to reference time coming back into a full circle. Thank you.